And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time extensions, a forensics challenge. Description, this is a really weird file. And we have a file, which I'll download. Can you find the flag? Let's drag that out to our desktop and look at the hints. How do operating systems know what kind of file it is? It's not just the ending. And then please make sure to submit the flag in the format. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's double click and let's try to open this up. And we can see we get a complaint. It's not displayed because this is either binary or uses an unsupported text encoding. So it doesn't understand it as text, but let's go ahead and let's open it. And we can see it's a lot of nonsense characters in here, a lot of unprintable characters. At the top though, we see PNG, which gives us a hint this is probably an image. Let's close this and let's talk briefly about what a file is. A file is just a set of bytes and it really, you can interpret it in any number of different ways. So if we open up GHEX and open up our flag.txt in it, we can see what the file truly is, which is just a long series of bytes in the center uh, on the right is the interpretation of those bytes in ASCII. And we can see in this case, interpreting it in ASCII mostly doesn't make sense. There are some places where it does, for example, like PNG. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense to us. So how do operating systems determine how you should open something and how it should be interpreted? Well, we know one of the ways, and that is the extension. So we can see right here that Kali is trusting that this is a plain text document because it has .txt, but there's another way. They use the beginning of the file for what are called magic bytes or file signatures. The way these work are, is the first however many bytes determine what the file actually is. So as an example quickly, if you wanted to make a, a DBA file, this Palm Desktop Calendar Archive, the first four bytes would have to be B-E, B-A, F-E, C-A. On Linux, we've got a really helpful uh, command, file, let's do man file, and look at the man page of the file operation. So this is basically the help menu, and we can see files used to determine file types. So it's going to do a, a lookup of all the different things that it knows based on the opening bytes. And when we perform that for flag.txt, we see it's a PNG image data. We see the dimensions of it and a little other information. That is a color image. All that that's doing is there is a signature down here for PNG and it says it's 8954E470D0A1A0A. And if we look at this uh, file, we'll see it's 8950, I should make this side by side so you can see, 4E470D0A, they match. So that tells us it's a PNG. So let's go ahead and let's change the extension so that the operating system knows what it should be. It's an image. And now we can immediately see in the preview that we've got an image. And here we have a flag. Let's go ahead and let's submit that. And it takes it. So what you just learned was something very important, which is you can hide or disguise a file by changing the extension and a file can be interpreted it can be read in many different ways some of which will make sense some of which won't thanks for watching the video i'm going to keep making these and you can help in a number of ways first liking and subscribing encourages me to continue doing this type of content it sounds like bs but seeing people say i help them does make my day second in the comments or on a subreddit i made you can suggest future content Every two weeks, I'll look at what the most requested challenge is and make a video on it. Finally, I have a Patreon if you'd like to financially support this. Thanks, and have a good one.